Okay, I had some questions on 483 using the product to sum formulas. So I'm going to do an example here, and this is number 61. The first thing to do looking at the problem <clears throat> is to try and identify which one of these product to sum formulas it matches. One clue is this cosine and cosine, sine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine, cosine, cosine, sine. So hopefully you recognize that it's the second one here. But I noticed something. There's no number in front of this. This has a 5 in front of it. So I have to rearrange this a little bit, or what I do is just put a bracket in it. So now this is where I'm going to replace using the formula, and then 5 is going to be times that whole answer. So I start comparing, but then I notice another little difference. These two, the u and the v here, are both positive, but this one's a negative, so I need to do one little thing before we get started here. I have to use the even-odd identities, and using the even-odd identities, I rewrite this. The cosine of minus 5 beta is the same as the cosine of 5 beta, using... Um, the identity for the substitution. You need to check these before you use them because on some of them the minus makes a minus out in front. So always check your rule before you rewrite the substitution. Alright, so now I have this looking very similar to that formula. So basically I just use the rule as a substitution. So I have the 5. Remember, that wasn't in the formula. So now I have a bracket. Now, when I use this formula, it says I start with a 1 half. And then there's a bracket. And it says cosine u minus v. Oh, goodness, I forgot to identify u and v. So there we go. So using the formula again, cosine u minus v. So that means 5 beta minus 3 beta. I like to write this step in, even though you can do that subtraction in your head. Following the formula, now I have a plus sign, and then it's cosine again, and this time it's u plus v, so it's 5 beta plus 3 beta. All right, so now we've used the formula to rewrite using the u's and v's as substitutions. The next part's pretty easy. Just simplify. So what's 5 beta minus 3 beta? So I've got the 5. I could do the 5 times the 1 half, so let's do that. It's 5 halves. <clears throat> and then I'm going to simplify this. So I get cosine, what's 5 beta minus 3 beta? Hopefully 2 beta, right? No big deal. And then plus cosine 8 beta. And then, um, I think I'm done. I am. I am. Sometimes the textbook will just write it using now just a simple parenthesis rather than a bracket. Cosine 2 beta plus cosine 8 beta. And we're done using the formula. So, uh, there you go. Um, and probably you don't need those parentheses if you don't want them makes it look a little bit neater. What do you think? Can you see that whole thing? Whoops, there we go. That's a little better. All right, I have one more I'm going to do. I'm going to take a second to clean my board. <clears throat>